I'd like to begin with a myth that I've always loved from ancient India. And it's a story of a musk deer that detected in the air a faint but heavenly fragrance and decided that this was the most amazing, delicious scent it had ever experienced and it wanted to find the source. So it began traveling around looking for what the, where the scent might be coming from and it crossed high icy peaks and it went across huge stretches of dry, hot desert and crossed rivers and seas and steamy jungles and it still couldn't, always there was a vague hint but never could it find the source. Finally, at the end of its life, the, the musk deer collapsed, exhausted and as it collapsed, its horn pierced its own belly and as it lay dying, that scent just emanated all over and it realized that the source of what it had been seeking all those years had been within its own being. So, that's an easy one to translate. <laughs> and, and yet, it's one, like all the great truths, that we forget. We forget in, in ways that we might call it a trance, that we're in this, this idea that what will make us happy, what we most need, what will really bring us satisfaction and peace is in some way down the road or it's located in somebody else or it's only available after we jump through a certain number of hurdles. So if we look at our lives, and this to me is quite amazing, many moments we really feel like we're on our way to something else that this, this isn't really what counts, what really counts is what we're preparing for or what's down the road or what we left, sadly, years back. So there is this sense in us that now isn't really it. And if you wonder, is that true? Just sense how many moments you actually have been present and said, yeah, this is enough, this is it this, right here, this, this is it, this is the center of my life, this is the meaning, this is the preciousness, this is what counts. Mm -hmm.